What's up everyone, I'm Jarvis with the Ultimate 3D Printing Store, and today we're going to be playing with some lasers. The BMO is a pint-sized powerhouse that isn't much bigger than your average toaster oven. Weighing in at less than 50 pounds, the BMO is a breeze to store when the device isn't in use. Boasting a 30 watt CO2 laser beam with a width smaller than a human hair, the BMO comes stocked from the factory with a closed loop water cooling system, which ensures your BMO's exterior will stay cool to the touch even after hours of continuous use. A built-in HD cam that's capable of capturing real-time images of your work area eliminates the need for guesswork, or even worse, rework. One of my personal favorite features is the large, robust touchscreen, featuring an easy-to-use interface. And thanks to the compact and lightweight design of the BMO, it's a great fit for classrooms, small businesses, or even aspiring home design studios. Normally you will want to use a CO2 laser cutter with the proper ventilation, but thanks to the beam air filtration system, we are able to use the BMO in any indoor environment regardless of ventilation. Today we are going to be showing you how to create 3D acrylic business cards in under 15 minutes from start to finish. These eye-catching works of art are sure to set you apart from anyone using a traditional business card. Also, here's a few great projects proven to generate revenue. We will post links to these in the video description below. And if you haven't already done so, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. That way you can receive the latest tips and tricks to help you grow your user experience. While it's not required, it's a good idea to perform a series of quick and easy tests on your BMO's hardware at least once a week. Under the maintenance tab, you will be able to test each critical component to verify its functionality. You'll see a variety of options under the maintenance tab. Press camera. You'll see an image populate on the BMO's beefy touchscreen. Press position D. The camera will slide across the work area. Check for any distortions in the imagery. If there are none, press X to exit out of the camera. Then home to return the laser head to the starting position. Next, let's disable the laser head so we can move it around the work area by hand. To do this, you'll press motors. Keep this option enabled for the remainder of testing. Press air pump to allow air to flow out of the nozzle. Using your finger, make sure the air is moving in a strong and consistent stream. Pressing air pump again turns the component off. Press pump to engage the water pump. You should hear it power on without any adverse noises. Lastly, let's verify the ventilator is working by pressing ventilator. You should hear and see the vent fan power up. Go ahead and press ventilator again to disable the vent fan. We're going to open the BMO and place our material into the spacious work area that's similar in size to your average eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Here we have a lovely piece of acrylic. We're going to use the high power CO2 laser in the BMO to turn this plain Jane into a pimped out paint. Lowering the acrylic focus tab and loosening the retaining screw allows us to promptly level the nozzle. Now that we have a level laser head, let's slide our assembly back into the home position. Beam Studio is free and easy to use. This software application allows you to create and edit content for your BMO CO2 laser cutter and engraver. Let's take a look at it. You can easily download Beam Studio for free directly from Flux's website. There will be a link to the download below in the video's description. Beam Studio also supports imports from popular third-party applications like Inkscape or Adobe Illustrator. Simply using the text editor and the shape tool, we are going to design a brand new business card from scratch. After we've outlined our card, picked our desired fonts, and imported our logo that was pre-designed in Canva, it's time to load up our materials. Here we are using the high definition camera to capture a real-time preview of the materials before they undergo corrective laser surgery. Thanks to the precision accuracy provided by the HD cam, we're going to be able to confidently cut three separate cards. We hope you all enjoyed the laser light show. Let's open her back up and see what we got. Removal of the scraps is hassle-free. Merely lift out any unused acrylic, peel off the protective backing, and gently wipe the card off with isopropyl alcohol or water to get rid of any excess particulates. There you have it, your very own business card from start to finish in less than 20 minutes using the BMO CO2 laser cutter and engraver. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also click the bell icon to get notifications so you won't miss any of the helpful tips and tricks to help you have the ultimate experience.